In this video, we'll take a look at whether sodium phosphate, that's Na3PO4, is soluble or insoluble in water. So we can look at three different ways to do this. First, we could have memorized the solubility rules. This is a brief set of the solubility rules. As we look down the rules, the first thing says group one elements. Sodium's in group one. So when sodium forms bonds with other compounds here, we're gonna have soluble compounds. So according to the solubility rules, we expect Na3PO4 would be soluble in water. We could also look at a solubility chart. So here's a solubility chart. And as we go down, we're looking for sodium. Right here is sodium. And then across the top, the anions, the negative ions. Here's the phosphate ion, PO4, 3 minus. We go down and then we go over in that S. That means that sodium phosphate is soluble in water. When you put it in water, it'll dissolve. It'll break apart into the sodium ion and the phosphate ion, actually three sodium ions and the one phosphate ion, and you have an aqueous solution. Note that many of the phosphates have an I. They're not soluble in water. They're insoluble and they won't dissolve. But for sodium, that group one element, it's going to be soluble. There's one more way we could see whether Na3PO4 is soluble or insoluble in water. We could just take some solid sodium phosphate and put it in water, see what happened. We would expect, based on the rules we have, and then on the solubility chart, it would be soluble in water. And this is Dr. B answering the question whether Na3PO4 is soluble or insoluble in water. It's soluble. Thanks for watching.